everyone, um, this is Kenji. I'm shooting a live stream today, a little different. Um, I'm also recording this in case you didn't catch it because I'm not publicizing this at all. I just kind of decided to do it. Um, so the other day, you might have seen on my Instagram or my Twitter account, my neighbor across the street um, saw this lamb, a whole lamb on sale at Costco at the business center um, for $1.60. I thought, so he called me and said he had this lamb and I thought he meant um, that it was on sale for $1.60 a pound, because it's normally about $4 a pound. No, he meant the entire lamb was $1.60. Um, it was probably some kind of mistake, but he brought it up to the register. He asked them if it was a mistake, and they said whether it's a mistake or not, they're gonna sell it to him at that price. So he bought a whole lamb for $1.60, um, and he called me over and asked me to help him butcher it, which I did. Um, and in exchange, I took home some lamb neck, uh, some other cuts too, but I took some lamb neck and lamb shoulder, and I made um, uh, birria, which is a, um, uh, typically made with goat. It's a it's a stew from Jalisco. Um, so my, my wife and I were actually in, in Puerto Vallarta with some friends of ours um, last year um, where we ate a lot of birria. Um, but it's basically um, goat that's stewed with chilies, tomatoes, charred onions, vinegar, some spices. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll link a re I'll, I'll post a recipe to it in the description um, when I put this up, um, when it's not live, but essentially it's lamb neck that I stewed, um, with a uh, stock and a bunch of spices. Um, and so what I'm going to do now though, I wanted to, what I wanted to show you was what you can do with kind of stewy meats, stewy taco meats, whether it's, you know, this, this isn't just, this isn't just something you can do with birria. You can also do it with like chicken tinga. You can do it with barbacoa. You can do it with any kind of sort of brothy stewed meat. Um, so what you do is you shred it off. Um, so a couple, I'm going to show you two different preparations. First, I'm going to show you the, the soup. Um, and the way I had this soup in Jalisco, um, we were, um, a friend of mine, um, I'll link to her Twitter account also, a friend of mine from Jalisco steered us towards this place that, um, serves birria where they take the meat, um, so that you, you, you eat the broth normally with the meat shredded up either alongside it or in the, or in the soup. Um, and you eat the broth, so that you eat the meat in sort of tacos and uh, tortillas. But at this place, what they did was they took the meat um, and they shredded it up and they put it on a plancha, like I'm doing right here. Um, you don't have to do this is a baking steel mini. Um, it doesn't have to be that. You can do this in like a cast iron pan or even a nonstick pan. But you kind of just sort of flatten it into a layer like that and let it sizzle a bit. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to make a couple tacos as well. <clears throat> So, let's say, let's make three tacos. So three tacos, which means six tortillas here. Um, I unfortunately don't have fresh corn tortillas, um, but that's okay. For this style of taco, um, tacos a la plancha, um, you don't need absolutely fresh corn tortillas. They work, it works just fine with um, store-bought refrigerated tortillas. Um, first, microwave them to soften them up. Um, so corn, by the way, it, um, you know, regular wheat flour, when it goes stale, um, if you've ever had bread that goes stale, you can heat it up and it gets soft again and it sort of regain, regains most of its um, sort of flex extensibility and flexibility and becomes nice and soft again. Um, and that's because wheat flour, as it, as it stales, um, the starches, the gelatinized starches retrograde and crystallize, but then they can re-gelatinize once you heat it up again. Um, corn, on the other hand, uh, it undergoes an irreversible retrogradation, so once a corn tortilla kind of cools down, it's never going to be sort of as stretchy and pliable as it was when it was freshly made, um, which is why most tacos in the U.S. are not that great, because the tortillas are never, are very rarely fresh. Um, but for this style of taco, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is I got my tortillas here, I'm gonna dip them into the soup. And th this broth is basically just the, the, uh, the liquid, the braising liquid from the uh, lamb um, that I've just taken off some of the fat, some but not all of the fat from. Yeah, this is looking good. So we want it to get nice and crispy on the bottom, sort of like a smashed burger. All right, so once you got your tortillas soaked like that, you get your meat in there, and you want this to kind of all be a little bit wet. And a little bit of cheese. This is um, queso Oaxaca. You can, use, you can use like Monterey Jack or mozzarella. Any kind of good melting cheese works. And last one. All right, so 
we got our three little tacos here. And now those, let me quickly rinse my hands. I need to make, I'm gonna make some space on the grill, on the uh, plancha right there. So the soup, soup portion, what you do, get your soup in your bowl. Okay. I'm gonna get some cabbage in there. Cabbage, cilantro, onions. And then you take this bit and you scrape it up. And you put it right on top. Can you see that? So it gets like this kind of crispy shell of seared meat. Um, so it adds a ton of flavor. It gives a little bit of crispness to it. Um, it's delicious. But now that our so now that our plunge, oops, sorry, Shabu. Now that our plunge is cleared up, gonna get some oil on there. And then our tacos go straight on. Grab some of these uh, Chef's Press guys. Um, these guys, by the way, um, I'm gonna be doing a, pretty soon I'm gonna be doing a charity sale um, video where, where I'm gonna feature some equipment that I like and um, some people that I've partnered with to uh, raise some money for a couple of worthy causes, um, including Chef's Press. Um, but if you wanna buy it for now, you can. It's chefspress.com, but I would urge you actually to wait a little bit, uh, wait a week or so, because in about a week or so, um, I'm gonna include a link where you can buy it at the regular price and um, a portion of the proceeds are gonna go to um, go to a couple of worthy charities. Um, so, so stay tuned for that. Um, it's, it's one of my more useful bits of kitchen equipment. Let me grab a plate. The finished tacos? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up a lime. Those are some old limes. Mmm, it's really good. Oops. So again, I'll post a recipe for, um, mm, how to make that birria. Um, you can do it with, you can do it with goat, you can do it with mutton, mutton, you can do it with lamb, you can do it with beef. Um, there's a bunch of ways you can do it, but this, this just happens to be lamb neck. That's what I had. All right, so you see how when you kind of soak them in that broth, it kind of browns on the outside of the taco. Um, and, and you also notice that they're kind of leaking out the edges. That's a good thing. Like, so I like, I like to kind of purposely press them a little bit so that the meat and the cheese comes in direct contact with the plancha. That way it all crisps up. Let me grab a little salsa on there. Oh, those are not, that's not salsa. Those are my chopped chilies and my uh, hatch chilies. There's the salsa. I know there's salsa here. There we go. This is just a, um, I bought this at the store. There's a, there's a Mexican market right near where I live that has some really good local, locally made salsas and tortillas. Um, that one is just, um, this one is a roasted tomatillo and uh, chili, green chili salsa. A little bit spicy, not too spicy. All right, these I think are pretty much done. Just a couple minutes on the plancha so they get crispy. You do wanna make sure you kinda scrape up all the crusted on goodness from underneath them. Shut this 
baking steel off. All right, and that's basically it. Tacos. I'm gonna get a better lime than that. There we go. Birria tacos a la plancha. Fried until crispy. And um, birria, the broth from the birria, um, along with a um, little crispy sk skin thin, I don't know what you call it, birria, birria skin floated on top. Um, the same way that I saw it done um, at a restaurant in Jalisco where I will, uh, you know what, I'll link to not only the Twitter account, but I'll also link to the restaurant so that you know if you're ever in Puerto Vallarta, you will know where to get excellent birria. Oh, sorry, I gotta feed Shabu, right? Here you go, Shabu. Here's a nice chunk of lamb fat for you. Sit. Good girl. And these are also special. Hmm. Nice. All right, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I will see you next time.